In this video, we're going to look at how to add text into shapes in Affinity Designer for iPad. That's putting text inside a shape and having it conform to the shape boundaries. So the first thing to do is open Affinity Designer on your iPad as usual and open the file you need shaped text in. So we've got a file there, it's a, a border, floral border and then we're going to put the text in the center of that. Select the shape tool you would like to create your text in from the left toolbar and draw your shape. Now I've got a number, I've got the left toolbar, the shape toolbar up there and you can see there's rectangles, ellipses, squares, stars, triangles, a very wide range and on the right hand side I've got the dimensions toolbar um, showing. This is the, the Transform Studio you'll see on the right hand bar. Now I've got that open so that I can get the circle, make sure the circle is exactly round, 356 by 356. And you can center it into the image there using the guidelines, the horizontal and vertical guides that pop up. So I've got the shape tool selected for the round or they call it an ellipse. But remember to get a perfect circle, you hold, as you're expanding the circle, you hold another finger on the surface of your artwork. Now, if you can't get that right, draw the neatest circle you can, then go to, to the dimensions of the Transform Studio, and from there you can make it exactly a circle. In this case, 356 by 356. And it's quite easy to get your circle perfect there. Now, in the left toolbar, once you've got your circle there, select the artistic text tool. This will bring up a drop down box that has the frame text tool in it. Select frame text. So you click on the word frame text in that option. Now, if you've already got your circle that you've drawn, your object selected, it will become immediately a frame text. But if not, what you do is with the layer for the shape selected, tap in the shape you have drawn in the image. A small cursor will appear, usually right at the top under that center dot. It's very hard to see if your default um, font size is 12 point. Your shape will become a frame text box. I used 18 point text in my one. And you can see in the layers panel, it becomes shape text, not just another layer. Now nothing much has changed on there yet and I've already added, as you can see, a bit of text to mine. Another way to create a shape text box is to select your shape, then go to text tool and select text frame. This will convert your shape to a text box. And when you start typing, your text will stay within the shape. And you can see again, I've got the example there, the layer is now called a shape text. With that shape text selected, you can now add your text to the shape and the text will only stay inside the confines of that shape. If you find when you're typing and adding text that it turns into a square, for example, and goes over the edge and out into your design, then you've done something wrong. So just use the history tool, go back to where you were, and make sure that you've selected that text frame in the artistic text tool um, toolbar there. Now that's the end of this little story. Um, you can find me, of course, on that address, Robert Chalmers, on YouTube. If you'd like to subscribe, that'd be very nice. Be very grateful. Subscribe. Um, tap the bell so you're reminded of new videos. And click the like, the thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up, in other words. Thanks for watching.